Hey guys. Well, this is Monday, so you know what that means. Accountability. So, <laughs> to keep myself very honest, here we go. I've done lousy. But I'm not going to let that stop me or discourage me or you know just yeah it's been rough but that's because things are getting ready to happen and sometimes it's hard to fight and I know the last time I told you like it turned out so awesome me changing my habits that I didn't have any cravings or anything but this time I don't know it just I do notice that like I have been wanting foods that's got extraordinary flavor or extremely flavorful. And that, when there's something that you're really wanting, it causes you to glutton like. And but, um, I've noticed that a lot of foods that used to either mean something to me or have a lot of flavor is no longer flavorful. And so I'm I'm actually needing things that's got a lot of punch, a lot of, and I don't tolerate hot and spicy. I, I, I'm not a spicy person, but uh, just extra flavorful. And it seems like um, it's a little hard for me to find it. Like, if, when I get a cheeseburger, I like to get mayonnaise and ketchup. And if there's not a little extra mayonnaise and a little extra ketchup, the sandwich is actually plain. We had gone to Dairy Queen a few days ago. And I got me a cheeseburger with the let with the uh, ketchup and mayonnaise and the fries. Well, of course, Rindy's. It, it was Rindy's, not Dairy Queen. Rindy's. So, of course, like Rindy's doesn't salt their French fries that much. Okay, fine. Everybody knows their French fries doesn't have the right amount of salt. They're pretty bland. So that was that. But the cheeseburger, because it didn't have that much mayonnaise and ketchup on it, it wasn't that flavorful. And so we went again before I went to go do my great walks a couple days later. And uh, this time, the person who prepared the sandwiches put extra mayonnaise and ketchup. Now, I didn't ask for that. They just happened to have done it. And it had the flavor. So, uh, oh, and the reason why we went to Wendy's Trace was uh, we had coupons and we was going to be out a little bit for a little while and we knew that we needed something to eat. So, it happens. But um, aside from that, like, portions, oh... Maybe not so much portion control is out of control, but more like how much during the day, how often during the day is more or less my problem. Junk food, not a problem there. I'm still doing great, of course, except for Thursdays when Big Mouth does her review. Other than that, I'm still doing excellent with no junk food. So there's an A plus right there. And it ha a whole lot of junk food now just doesn't have the flavor that I'm needing anyway. I, I'm seriously looking for more natural food. Uh, or at least um, regular food, I guess I could say. Um, but I'm just wanting it to have more flavor. And so, uh, 
Honestly, I don't know what's going on with my body other than, like, like I said, things are getting ready to happen, so. I ran on ahead and measured myself this morning, not really wanting to. The scale showed me at 217, and that's a... I'm still swelled, but now it's a different reason. It's a completely different reason, a more natural reason. Um, I got quite a few comments last Monday, and I appreciate you guys for giving me your advice and comments, and I took them to heart, and soon I'm going to be seeing my doctor, and I am going to be mentioning about my swelling ankles. I mean, I had talked to him before about my legs and ankles being swelled, and that's why he gave me the flu pills, but I'm going to also, like, explain to him some other things that I've kind of been feeling. But on the whole part, I think it's just got a lot to do with my weight. And I'll tell you this, because in the past, I have known my ankles to swell pretty bad whenever I was overweight. And they wouldn't swell so much anymore when I was like around 200 and less. So I think it's really just got a whole lot to do with my weight. And, of course, everybody knows that when you're overweight, you huff and puff, and it feels like agony, you know, a lot of restriction because you've got that fat in your belly that's, like, shoving up at you. So I, I think, basically, it's got a lot to do with my, with my weight. But, like I said, I am going to talk to my doctor, um, and I... Greatly appreciate y'all's advice. I really, really do. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, as I was saying, I had measured myself, and I really didn't want to because, like, where the scales were shown, 217. Well, I can see why I really didn't measure, want to measure myself. I am up on everything. I'm up on my upper waist, up on my lower belly, and up on my hips. So, <sighs> back to the drawing board. But, um, I am going to continue focusing on, of course, not eating the junk food, which is becoming more and more not a need to me um i'm able to turn it down even more so yesterday i really desired it greatly though what i'd done was after i was done with big math's review thursday i had put all the remnants because i'd only took one bite of everything tried one piece of everything and then i had put the remnants into a seal bag for my husband to try well he didn't get to it and he turned around and told me that i could see if any of it was still fresh enough if i wanted in other words just i really don't want to try it so knowing how good a few of those items were i dove in that wasn't a good thing uh but but it didn't become something that I am absolutely hungering for. So yesterday, I don't know if my body was needing extra carbs or what, but I just I felt like there was no satiation to my appetite. Hunger, I didn't even give myself a chance to feel it. So... That's one reason why I weighed 217 this morning. Um, yeah, that's kind of a disappointment to me. But when I screw up, I know that any type of measurement is going to show it. So, you know, I deserve what comes on to me when I don't do something right. 
today I'm doing a okay. Um, well, <laughs> I could have done better today. Uh, I have only had a small bowl of dry honey nut Cheerios. That was my breakfast. No coffee today. I'm also discovering that my body is changing so significantly that I can't even tolerate full caffeinated coffee. And it just so happens we're going to Aldi tomorrow, so guess who's going to get decaf? I have to have coffee for medicinal reasons. But, um, uh, seeing that my caffeine sensitivity apparently has gotten a little worse, I might as well go decaf. So, that's that. Um, see, anyway, so I made my homemade stroganoff today, and I done great. Had a half a cup, and I took one of my dear friends' advice. Hi, Keith Holt. This was your advice. Didn't exactly keep it within the same calorie range that you said within meal, but I did count the calories today because I have got a certain amount of calories that I'm wanting to try to stick to. And so, fingers crossed that I don't cross that certain amount line. Um, so, yeah, everything was great with the homemade stroganoff at half a cup and the dried cereal, 444 calories total for the day so far. And then, like, I went on ahead and packaged the rest of the remnants up to store into the fridge. And instead of taking the last amount and putting it in a storage bin, I ran on ahead and ate it. Which equaled more than half a cup. It equaled more to like two thirds. So, I'm still under a thousand calories. I'm even under 900 calories because I was good enough to turn around and record the second portion of the stroganoff. And so I'm over 800. <laughs> but I'm fine. And it is getting a little later in the day, so I should be able to make within the limit that I'm allowing myself every day. I, I've not come to it yet, and I definitely haven't exceeded it, so. Um, yeah, um, well, I wasn't expecting too much different. The entire week on the whole part had been a little rough, but yesterday was exceptionally rough. Matter of fact, the last couple days have been exceptionally rough, but as I said, things are getting ready to happen. Um, I'm focusing on making sure to put more water down. I really would like to be able to accomplish the goal of drinking my entire 50 ounce bottle a day, because that would definitely be pretty good. And now this right here is something I'm so excited to share you guys. Um, I got this in the mail today. This is from the Rimmins Health Clinic concerning the results of my mammogram. And God is so good. Everything is normal. My very first, which, you know, I wasn't anticipating for there to be anything wrong because I haven't had pain or anything 
you know, nothing has ever has felt abnormal or anything. But just knowing, just knowing that it's normal, I give God all the praise for that. Because there's some things that can occur that's not noticeable just to the touch. So, um, yeah. God's grace is sufficient and Jesus' healing is true. So, uh, <laughs> I cried when I read that letter and I'm tearing up now. Praise is an awesome thing. Thankfulness. Uh, as far as it goes, oh, and another cool thing, the swimming pool opens here this Friday, so I'm going to be able to do additional exercises, and it's going to feel so good on my joints. It's going to feel good on my back and on my knees and on that ankle that I had sprang really bad. Uh, as far as it goes, like it is healed, you know, it, it's, it's whole, it mended. But when you do extensive damage to a body part, sometimes there's consequences to that. And so on occasion it aches or it feels like it desperately needs pop. So it's going to feel good to get in that pool. I look forward to it. Plus it's already getting the temperatures into the 90s. So yeah, that pool is going to be so fun. I look forward to it. I hope I keep up with it this summer. I really do. Usually, you know, I get all excited about a pool when it's open or when I've got my own personal pool, which having my own personal pool, I didn't have that often in my life. But living in the apartments, yeah, you've got a pool. So um, I don't keep up with it. So hopefully this summer I will because I'm not just wanting to get into it to cool off. I'm actually wanting to get into it and swim for exercise. So, yeah, I look forward to it. It's going to be great. Um, so, that's yeah, pretty well it. Good news, I'm still not eating junk food. The bad news, I just about crammed everything else down, so <laughs> not very good of a week, but that's okay. That's okay, because I'm definitely not giving up. I'm going to continue to focus and aim toward my goals, not just the weight loss goals, but the goals to eat smaller portions and keep things within a limit so yeah and that pretty well takes care of my Monday and that's all I could think about <laughs> I wish I had more to share with you but um, everybody likes a shorter video so hopefully this is short enough to hold y'all's attention uh, I don't know of any plans to be going anywhere for a great walks unless I decide to do the Mammoth Park, which I might do, and that will be kind of cool for you. Or maybe I'll be able to do the Dr. Pepper Museum. I'll have to talk to my husband about that because he would be going back too, so, uh, um...
As far as I know, that's all I've got for today. Uh, yep. So, <laughs> I love you guys and appreciate you. For those of you who are praying for me, thank you. And for those of you who support me, thank you. To my new subscribers, glad you could join. I love you. And I'll see you later. Bye.